Welcome back guys from our Pokemon variant. So last time, um, we looked at more, uh, custom Pokemon. Evolutions, Mega Evolutions, Pre-Evolutions. Today we're going to be looking at more ones I've been doing. I finished drawing six secondary Pokemon, so that's what we'll be seeing more of. These are all my custom Pokemon. Just to recap, we got, for the Megas here, we got Mega Butterfree, Mega Eradicate, Mega Fero, Mega Arbok, Jarbok! Mega Riot, Riot Zoo. Mega Slowbroke, Slow King. Pretty cool. Am I not covered some of these? I forget, but I'm pretty sure on some of these. Mega Rapidash, Mega Porygon Z, and Mega Dragonite. Here's the first one. I'm not pretty sure you haven't seen before. It's Mega Parasect. Which is a ghost type because, yeah, the uh, the bug part's been taken over by the mushroom fully, and he doesn't have that terrible half. It's four times eight. Oh, it's, you have a different um ability because that ability is terrible. You want to have an octo weakness. Um, this is more simple design where the mushroom looks like it takes more over it. I don't know. I just I really got much to say about it. There's one I am excited for, which is Mega Shuckle. Because Shuckle, design-wise, does look like you could use an evolution, but because of its uh, really high defense, it's given evolution here, which is this one. Mega Shuckle. This type doesn't change, because I don't see why it would. Pretty much here, he's got a little helmet here, spike there. Looks a bit more armored up, so his defense will be higher in special defense. His attack, I guess, can be hired, but that's it. That's all Mega Evolutions. Got enough much to say. Say about her. This is my evolutions here. We got Sand Dune here, which I'm pretty sure you guys saw, but actually, I don't think I remember talking about this one, so might as well go over a Sand Dune here. It's a uh, ground steel. This is evolution because, because you know, Sand Slash is good, but it's like, you could use the extra buff. Sand Dune's pretty uh, simple, actually. Mega an evolution um is actually out when it came out like I was actually I'm pretty happy with this one I really like its design it's like it was pretty it's pretty simple but it's pretty cool it's steel type so yeah it'll be pretty cool it's gonna be a very uh it's gonna be more speedy ground type with Kai attack it's pretty cool next one is a uh, far throne which I have talked about it's pretty much the same it's the uh fighting version of Farfetch'd evolution that we all wanted the Karate Master Samurai Booty I talked about the evolutions we got Dragon, Arion, and Toxion these are all relate to the uh, Sylveon and these are the ones I feel like they should add and might as well put them in just to relate to this Sylveon here are one of these three because these are the ones I had I do like Toxion a lot the best I really like the way it came out. Dragon is pretty cool. Hyrion, of course. And this one is Dragon Scale, Metal Co, level up white poisons. These are probably at least I'm thinking it's gonna be uh Toxion or Dragon mostly. Has to be Dragon because Sylveon's good against one of them and bad against the other, so that's why. Yeah. This is uh Ducktrio's evolution. Ducktrio, I don't I like I like it. I like Diglett. Ducktrio, problem is design's terrible. And that's why we have Dugolo here. Which is a crown dragon type. It's you can see it's more more like this is an old design I had for it. It's kinda simple. Though I like it, I'm not sure. I don't know what people will like this or not. Tell me if you do. I like it, but that's just me. Next one is the pre-evolution and evolution, but mostly I only do the pre-evolution because I actually saw the design that I liked. This is Giraffe Egg's pre-evolution here. Giraffe Bar, which I only made it because on I saw on Wallapia, it's a, it's original concept art was this guy, and I really liked it. I was like, my, I can actually make him look at pre-evolution, which I did. It's Giraffe Bar, level 13. It's a normal type. Of course, level 13, it evolves into Drafig, and the one I really wanted to talk about, which is 
Jirark here. One of the, is a Pokemon, Giraffe Eggs, one of the Pokemon I always wanted to evolve, and is one of the Pokemon that is, if I would give any Pokemon evolution, it will be this one. I always like Giraffe Egg, but it's, you, can't, you really can't use it. Here, I really like design, and typing wise, get rid of normal, it's Psychic Dark, which represents its yin yang sort of design, because Psychic and Dark are opposites, of course. And his uh, head thing is sort of went around its neck. It's pretty cool. I really like it. I don't know why Giraffe Egg wasn't Psychic Dark to begin with, but I do like this design. I always like Giraffe Egg, so that's why um, it has evolution here. This is a Venonat's a different uh, evolution because I always thought Venonat evolved in Venomoth was the one of the weirdest things ever. So right now it's Bug and Poison. This could be a, I guess, different stat wise. Just level up with Single Beam, then you get this one, Venom Pest. It's bug and poison, or it could be a uh, dark. I do like this one. I do really do. I prefer this design over the uh, Venom Moth one. And basically, this one could be a different stat, like it could be more defensive. I think it could be. I think it'd be pretty cool. Now, what's gonna be? That's not all though. My evolutions there. Go down. Get that sparse. Well, the other ones I want. This is sparse gun. Dunsparce's evolution, level 28. It's Fairy and Dragon. And yeah, I really like the design. There's another Pokemon that I really want, would like. Just these two. Because of evolution. It's a Serpent Pokemon. It has a spear. I already had some plain out stuff for this shit. This guy. Yeah, it's pretty uh, cool Pokemon here. I really like the design. It was. That's part is the one that looks like it needs to evolve. I, I like its I like the design and it's actually it's pretty good starting out and if you give it an evolution like this one, it's gonna be great. This is one Pokemon that's gonna be like I see like being really good. So I would like this to happen. Not Mega Evolution because Pokemon don't need some Pokemon are weak, they don't need Mega Evolutions, they need evolutions. Well, yeah, that's why I do these evolutions. Here's a cool one I had. This is a Deli Bird pre evolution and an evolution. Here we have Gifik, which is Gift and Chick. I thought I came up with this, thought it'd be a cool idea. Sort of like as a roll, but like he's, he's laying on his bag, little baby one. And the, uh, how it works is that um, the baby one has more, a lot more red than white. The Deli Bird has, is mixed halfway red, halfway white. Its evolution is mostly white with red. Yeah, content races. Throw ice and flying. I think it's a unique type. Of course, the present ability, present move is pretty shitty, but the evolution should make up for that. It's pretty simple design here, but I really like. This is a Clawzard. It's the uh, Santa Bird Pokemon. Might as well go full, out fully, and um, I do really like this design, you know. Has this gift, Bass, yeah. You know, people's like, it's dumb, but like, my last Pokemon are dumb. His little Santa hat. Oh, it's not it's sort of its head. There's the three buttons like a snowman present. It has ice and flying. You could, act you could actually have good ice moves and shit. So, yeah, there's that one. This one you've probably seen before. It's the evolution of cool fish that's based off those water things. I don't know what they're called, but I know they're in Fighting Nemo. That's called Quiltol, which is wire and steel, because poison is okay, but I think it's still that works. I do like this design. Um, this is my take on what I saw this type of cool fish evolution, so it might not be the most original, but it's still something that's really cool. You've probably seen this one, but it's like one of those, like, yeah, I had to do this version, because you just see it, it's like, that's yeah, pretty cool. It would make it pretty cool. I really like it. It's pretty unique looking, too. I would prefer this to the uh, cool fish, and it sort of has a wheezing face. So there we go. There's unknown is pretty fucking useless in its gimmick. So here's its evolution. This is a. Uh, I don't even have a name for this thing. It's just un, un unownable. <laughs> yeah. Go with that. Pretty much. I don't have a type for this bitch, but it's gonna be a psychic type. Or. Yeah, so this uh, to how you get this, you need to collect all the unknowns here. These are just uh, bakers. Get all the unknowns, then go back to Union Cave, 
And then they'll evolve to this fucking monstrosity of a Pokemon here. It'll be a second. This, I was expecting this one to be like legendary, like unknown shit. But if you get them all, you get the tree of all the best Pokemon in the game here. This Pokemon's gonna be huge. It's gonna be actually pretty cool, I think. And these unknowns are floating around it. The hands are based off, like, you know, those Andros or whatever. It's the design I had. I thought it was a pretty cool idea. So, might as well give it to our own. Make it. I could actually have some reason to collect all these letters. So, when it comes to pre evolutions, we already went through Gim, Joe's gone, King Yet, Scytus, I think. And yeah, we did Pinsy. Muffy and Bolros and Taurus, but we haven't gone from this evolution here. Most thing I decided when looking at it that it doesn't, I think it could use the evolution, which I gave it one. Here we go. His name's in here, I forget what it was. <laughs> I had a cool name for it. This, um, this cow is, I really like its design. It's, I would give it fairy, but, yeah, it's gonna be like, it's a counterpart to Tauros because I think Milk Tick looks like a good enough counterpart. I, uh, I think I do like this, like, give it a little bell, give it three tails, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's very, uh, feminine. He also made a different color, I made a female version of Muffy here, just three colored. So there's that. There's Lappy. B, which doesn't have its name, uh. Um, I realize we don't have much pre-evolutions here, so let's look at the last one. Which is uh, one that I look excited for. Heedle. Yeah. I like Cytus and a Pincy. And I had to get the third bug. Throw the bug trio. And my favorite of them is Heracross. He had a little heel here, which is pretty cute. Um, I really couldn't think of anything like original to give it. Or they look like a little, a tiny Heracross. But I don't. I was done. I was like, yeah, it still looks cute because the Heracross is the best. And I love it. I saw that. It looks too cute to be a fighting type. It needs to evolve to get that fighting type through friendship. Those are all the uh, Pokemon evolutions I made. Tell me what you like in the comments. Tell me if you hate me in the comments. Subscribe to me if you want to. Like the video if you want to. Fuck me in the ass if you want to. Actually, don't do the last thing, but subscribe, please. And fuck you all.